Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. And I thought I was coming to my damn OnlyFans shoot. Yes, that's right, by popular request. Y'all been asking me to make an OnlyFans for so dang long. But I said I didn't want to take my clothes off, but yeah, I still had my clothes off. But somehow I got roped into doing this dang shoot, which is called Only Pans. It's not even the OnlyFans. So welcome today, guys, because today we're going to be doing some cooking. That's right. Welcome to my own unique cooking show. The following movie is rated PG-13. And what we're going to be cooking today, by a very popular request, we're going to be cooking a vegan recipe. You understand? I'm just kidding. Fuck that. We ain't cooking no vegan shit. Kayla, bring me some breasts. Thank you. <laughs> this one cooking day, y'all. I'm talking southern fried chicken, breast action, coming at you. So you know we're all about keeping things in the family here. So here I got the family collection. Not to be confused with all the cousins and other family members inside my family albums. So what we got here, guys, we got some southern fried chicken. Look at that picture to the right, just right there. So what we got going here, we need our ingredients. I got my ingredients all out in front of me on this beautiful table right here. So I got myself some oil, that's right, oil, because we're gonna be frying these things up. Ain't nothing coming out of the south that ain't freaking fried. I'm about that fried action, so let's get frizzy. I've been having some salt, I have some eggs. I got the quality breasts. And if you don't like breasts, well then get yourself some thighs, and if you like them both, well geez, God damn it, shove those things in your face and go, I got them all, baby. Okay, next I got a browning sauce. I've got this pepper, I got myself some oregano, some paprika, and I got some cumin. Not to be confused with any other iteration the way you can read that word. And then I got myself some bowls. You need your bowls. I got some flour because you need that stuff. I got some measuring things. So, I mean, this recipe, the thing is it has instructions. I don't really think we're going to follow these instructions, but I'll do a little bit. So step one, prepare your egg wash. So you get yourself a bowl and need an egg. So I don't know why they call it an egg wash because it's kind of like an egg soak. But if I come over right here, go on camera. That did not, uh, that was meant to be. I was testing y'all. Perfect, look at that. Crack your eggs, just like that. And come over to camera B. Guess guys, we got camera B up in this business. So camera B, you can see this. We got that cracked egg, which was done so perfectly. And I'm just gonna put it right in the bowl. Shells and all. The more shells, the better. If you're doing the shells that are in it, it adds a little bit of texture, crunch, and calcium. And it's not having any technical difficulties at all. So I just crack that thing all in there. And oh yes, just watch that squirt and drop inside that little thing. Mm. Just dang by God, and have it. Okay, I'm gonna stick my stick my hands in that. It's gushy, gushy. Oh yes, get my hands all in there. I'm gonna remove that shell though, guys just to keep it a little PG. We don't want things to get a little raunchy and crunchy, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I got an egg. It says two eggs. But I think one's be all right, so I'm gonna try this out. All right, so now, I lied, we actually ain't in the South, guys. We're actually up here in Connecticut. So look, they got, you can get milk in a freaking bag. You ever seen this stuff? Hell no, you haven't, because I don't even understand what the hell this be from. But so we put egg in a bag, Milk in a bag, and you're just gonna dump it in this bowl. Back to camera B. Pour action. It says one tablespoon. I think that's about, that's about that. That's one tablespoon. You know why I say that's one tablespoon? Because we're on the table. And I say it's one tablespoon. All right, so now we're gonna mix this up. Um, I'm gonna take my spoon, which is not a tablespoon, and mix this up. So this is basically our egg wash. So all I'm doing is mixing it together. Looks really good. And it's gonna look like, you can't even see that. See that there? There you go. I'm not pour that on y'all. It just looks like some, uh, looks like eggnog. Or something you don't ever want to come out of your nose. That's okay. Um, so that's that. Next we're gonna prepare our next thing, which is the flour, the bread. So I was smart and I pre-portioned my flour beforehand because you need to do that, you understand? Because otherwise you're messing a big bag. And let's just say we ain't no messing with no big bags. So I dump that on in there. And then the next thing is 
So combine the flours and seasonings. Okay, so I got the flour. Next, I need a half, one and a half teaspoon of salt. I think you could just call that this much. That might be a little much. I'm gonna make it like that much. And then just take your extra salt and just throw it over your shoulder. And then I'm done with the sink. Because we don't want nobody getting salty around here, you know what I'm saying? All right. Next, I'm going to be taking a half teaspoon of pepper. This thing don't allow me to even measure that half teaspoon, so I'm just going to give it a good old crank, half a teaspoon. I think that's about enough right there. I do like that pepper, guys. The best thing about a recipe, you can customize this to all your flowers, your flavors, and your taste. So I'll be saying it's about half. About half right there. About half. Next, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. This is pronounced cumin. Not to be confused with any other activities. Like cumin. So a quarter teaspoon. Ooh, wait, you smell that dang cumin? It smells pretty mighty flour. I'm gonna put that just right in there. It's about, you know what, a quarter, I think a quarter teaspoon, I think it amounts to about two, Two finger lens plus third finger lens. Oh yeah, smells pretty good. And seal that up. Next, same thing with the paprika. This thing's gonna turn us all red. Smells like paprika. Can you believe it? So again, I'm going to a few of them finger lens right in there. All right, what do I need next? Oregano. A quarter teaspoon of dried oregano. Good thing. This just smells like Italian pasta sauce. Since when we in Italian? Why does this smell Italian? <laughs> Thank you for your answer. <laughs> People you don't know an answer, just keep waiting for somebody to give you one. <laughs> Next, that's it. So we're supposed to mix this on up, so I got my dry spoon. Look at that. Look at how that looks, guys. Camera B. Mix it all up. Alright. And this is where the action gets going. This is where we take the breasts and put it into action. So, I'm all for massaging breasts and all, but these ones I'm massaging these breasts. I will say though, I think this is the best and proportionate, appropriate time, appropriate time. I'm gonna get this freaking pan going. We're only pans, we haven't even touched the pans yet. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna take some of this oil. This is just some BS vegetable oil, 100% pure whatever that means, and put in the big old pot thing, this pan, which I'm going to shove on the oven right here, and you got to get it nice and hot. This said about, the recipe calls for a cup, but I tell you what, I'm going to need more than a cup of this stuff, so I'm just going to take this right here, put on my medium heat, and just pour it in until it fills your heart's desire. And your arteries are so dang clogged up you don't know what to do with yourself. So I got a good probably better. I mean, my size is a little off, I will say. I'll talk about the inches. So I'll probably talk about it in the centimeters. Um, so I got a good old probably about a centimeter and a half up there, about that much. That much that oil. See that much right there? Got about that much. That much right there. And what that's going to be allowing me to do is once I have this stuff all battered and stuff, I'm going to flip it in the one side, and then I'm going to flip it on the other side, and then it's going to be good. The actual recipe itself makes no damn sense, all right? Some things, I told you, they shouldn't stay in the family. I told you that much. And this ain't no damn family secret. I'll be ripping that all day. So what it is, it says right here, is that you're supposed to sear it and then cook it for 45 damn minutes. 
what the hell am I going to be doing for 45 minutes? You understand? So I ain't doing that at all. That'd be a damn waste of time. I'm going to fry this stuff till it's fried crispy and good. So I'm going to take this lid after we got that all heated up. And I'm going to stick it on. What you think about that, Willis? All right. So now back to the action, folks. Like I said, take that cookbook, shove that thing out of the way. We ain't getting that dirty thing messy. Head, stay in the fan. All right. Taking this ag wash right here. Dang that a cat! So check your back. <laughs> <laughs> Dang that a cat! Check your damn mouth. You be one the other. Don't forget what happened to your brother. We don't talk about that brother. All right, I'm grabbing these little breasts. I'm just dipping it in the egg wash. I'll come to camera B. Look at that. See that breast in that wash? Remember to wash your breasts, folks. Keep them nice and washed. And it's just getting covered in slimy egg milk juice. Breasts and milk and juice. Very good. This is some good breast juice, some breast milk juicy stuff. And then I'm going to take this breast that has been washed in the egg and stuff. Shout out to somebody who once told me that you should use mayonnaise. Mayonnaise to wash your, your chicken. I'm not trying that today. Maybe I'll try it next time. And then I'm going to grab that little flour. I'm going to take this breast and shove that in there. You see that breast in that flour mixture right there? Yeah. I know you do. You know you do right there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to coat this thing a couple times. Mix it on up. This, this is going to get messy, folks. This is where we, our hands get messy. So we're going to get covered in flour powder. Powerpuff Girls are us, and Mojo Jojo ain't the one going yo, 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 yo. That's me, my Jojo. Okay, so now you understand, you got my Jojo, my yo, 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 yo. Oh, we go, go. All right, so we got this stuff all right there. I got one of them breasts, and because this breast is all nice and floured and battered up just like that, honestly, if you had normal production or any safety standards, you'd probably put this on a brand new plate. I give zero fucks, so I'm going to put this right back on this plate right, right here. You understand? So what you have here is you have a nice, nice breast, nice coated breast, and the non-coated breasts. So we're about to coat the other breasts because we ain't discriminatory around here. Whether you got one, whether you got two, or y'all got three breasts, baby, I'm coming for you. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. Next. Dipping and washing them these other breasts, because like I said, y'all, gotta stay clean. We about being clean. Gotta I take proper hygiene, you know what I'm saying? Because I tell you, when I have my mouth and my face all up in them breasts, they gotta be nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a practice, that's when you practice safe food handling, because we don't want no salmonella. We ain't want no foodborne illness, if you know what I'm saying, all right? Okay, good stuff. So now back to this, I'm coating all this flour stuff up right there again. I'm just repeating the good old process. Batter them breasts up in that flour mixture. It's real good. It's real good, folks. And then look at that, just like that, completed. Another delicious, good looking breast. And now, like I said, whether you got two, whether you got three, that's okay. Now we go number three, guys. I'll tell you one thing, I'm dang good that I only use that one egg. I only use the one tablespoon of milk from the bag because I definitely don't need it too for this. This recipe probably good for me feeding your whole family. I don't cook chicken for my family. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm cooking it for myself. So that I got this, this last washed breast. And it's going back in that flour mixture, folks. There it is right there. And from there, once we're about, uh, you know, shaking all up, got this thing nicely coated and all that good stuff up in there. That's about that. So the last breast. This looks nice and seasoned and floured. That's about that. That's it. That's all she wrote, folks. You can now go home. The show's over. The party's over. Just kidding, we're just getting started. All right, now we gotta fry this biznizzle. We gotta wait till this oil heats up because that thing gotta be nice, hot, crispy popping. And then I'm gonna fry this to perfection. So stay tuned, okay? Okay. 2,000 years later. 
everyone, so welcome back, part two, where we left off. So here we go, we got our completed breasts, these delicious looking critters. And we have some very hot oil. So now this is going to be very dangerous. This oil has been definitely cooking for a while. It's probably a little hotter than it should be. We're talking about snap, crackle, pop, things about to get popping. So I'm just gonna take that oil. Holy jump, let's look at that. That chicken is frying in that oil. Just look at it. Just look at it. So as you can see, this chicken is just perfectly frying up in there. I'm gonna adjust the heat on the burner just a little bit. Right now it's about half, about 50%. And I'm gonna throw these other breasts in there. So again, woo, just look at that sizzle. Look at that go. I probably should have put them in lengthwise and maybe I actually could have fit all three in there easier. I don't really care, YOLO, we're going for the third one anyway. It's just gonna be a little bit less nicely in there as you can say. All right, there we go guys. All the chicken is in the pan. Step one, success. Now we're just gonna basically watch this, see how it fries down. Uh, I don't really know what to expect from here. This is our first time doing this recipe. But that's it. That's it. It's kind of it. What I am going to do, because I have the amount of oil in there that seems to be appropriate, maybe, I'm going to try to situate it so it's all covered. It's almost all covered. Then I can be a little lazier and cook it for less time. Because we ain't messing around. We like to eat. Just because we only pans, don't mean we slow! Just because it's only pans and it ain't only fans, don't mean we got some things that are hot popping and sizzling. You know what I'm saying? That hot action. All right, so the chicken is frying up in here, up in this biz nizzle. Up in here, up in here. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing and uh, come back in about one minute when the chicken is good. All right, gals, so we're back in action. Uh, here I got this, uh, this chicken. So I'm gonna show this camera right here what we're looking like. So here we go, guys. It's actually looking pretty good. It's getting a little nice and crispy. Definitely some good old fried action. Uh, yo, what would you, how would you describe the smell in here right now? Not great. <laughs> Dang, that, why do you say that? I think it smells pretty good. It just, you definitely smell the vegetable oil. A lot of oil. You smell the oil. But it's not burning or anything. The chicken looks like it's crisp and right now, right now, right now good. Um, that being said, that's about it. I'm going to give this for another minute or two, and then I'm going to start flipping them. The reason why you flip them is because you don't want to paint the chicken. We've never talked about food safety and salmonella. There's a reason why y'all just got to wash your breasts, take care of your breasts, keep them clean. Only eat clean, quality breasts. And thighs. Them thighs really get you concerned down there, I'll tell you that much. Them things will do you dirty if you ain't doing dirty, you know what I'm saying? So that being said, back to this chicken action. I'm going to now flip this one. This one I had in there first. Look at that, look at that nice little crispiness going on that fried chicken right there. Looks real good, dripping oil up in that business. I'm gonna use my hands because I'm a trained professional. That is right. Do not use your hands at home, folks. Using your hands can be very dangerous. This, I'm a trained professional. So I'm gonna take this other one, I'm gonna flip it right here. Oh no, that almost splat oil in my face. Going back to the action. That is good. And last one, flipping that one too. Woo! We are getting a nice little bit of crispy bits on that chicken action. I see that nice brownness. It is browning, that is for show. That's what you want to see, the browning on them breasts. Just a little bit of kiss, a little bit of brown. So that's good. We're going to come back and come this once some things are a little more crisped up. All right, so cooking chicken is very going good. Here we got the breasts. They turn nice and white. So what I do is again, I'm going to I assess. So look at this camera, it looks nice and golden brown. It looks very nice and very crispy. So I like it to turn one more time. Why? Just because, oh look at that. Splash oil on self, very good, keep burning. Now I go again. Oh, 
Good thing I already lost fingertips. Okay, very good. Okay, so as you see, look, the chicken is very nice and crispy brown. It is very good. This is also a great way if you like to remove your fingertips, your uh, little uh, fingerprints. They do that back in home country, but not so gracefully with cooking chicken. So the chicken is coming very nice. The fry is good. That being said, I think fry is almost done. Uh, so just like another minute or two for the fry, and then it's a good, and that's about that. That is chicken. All right, so here we are. We are basically dang finished all this product right here. You can see these chicken breasts is coming. Taylor, what are you be doing? Can't you see them in the middle, son? Can't wait. What you got there? Banana bread. <laughs> She be eating up that banana bread. Jeez, the way you... Chicken's taking too long. Next episode, home cooking, not to make banana bread. All right. So as I was dang saying, look at this way this chicken is browning up real, really nice and good. So this stuff is looking good, and I think it is done. It is crisping real well. You want that breast to be a nice, juicy breast. And every time I rotate it, you can see the lovely coloring which is forming on this fried chicken. We're getting a really, really good crust. So this stuff is dang cooked. I'm just giving about three more seconds to help get the rest of that nice brown coat going. Smells better now. Smells better now? All right. Always use protection, kids. <laughs> Shout out Rat Guard. Not sponsoring me, but if you like to, my info's down in the link below. Hit me up, right guard. I'll rep you all day, every day. Fried chicken is officially done. Look how nice and golden brown. Holy dang, man. Look at that. Just look at it. It's so damn beautiful, it wanted to try to kill me. So what was sad is I put that all aside right there. All these beautiful pieces of nice fried chicken. Look at that golden brown, beautiful camera bee. And one more, just look at that. Holy dang, that is jumping Jesus. We're gonna die here in a second. Holy jumpers, I'll tell you that much. And look, it's so, look, holy jumpers, look at that. Dang, now just take that oil and put it right out that burner. Oh, now we're getting smoking, guys. We're about to set up this fire alarm, that's for sure. Fire alarm gonna be going off in five seconds. I'm calling it right now. But uh, look, it's so good. I'm even gonna show camera A, camera A. Look at that beautiful looking piece of nice crispy old fried chicken. Don't that look, look damn good? All right. Honestly, what I'm so impressed with the fact that that damn burner or the, the fire alarm ain't going off yet. Not jinxing it though. Definitely not jinxing that. All right. So now I just put my chicken on a plate. You see that with with paper towel? It's going to let that sit, absorb real good there for a second. Get that extra oil right off it. And now we're going to make the next step, which is going to make our country gravy. All right. Next for our country gravy, guys. So. You start with a quarter cup of butter. You can also use shortening, I'm using straight butter. That's just going right in my little pot. I'm gonna let that melt. I have my pot heat up a little bit, so it's gonna melt right there. So what you do, you melt that, and then you stir in your quarter cup of flour, which I already got measured out. I'm gonna stir in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and we're just gonna mix that up in a little bit of a slurry on heat for five minutes. So we're gonna go back to the little stove, and then we're gonna add one cup of milk from the bag and a thing of water. And that's just gonna let it boil for two minutes. And then add a browning sauce, which we got, and oregano. Why? I sure as hell don't know, but we're about to find out because oregano in country gravy sounds weird as hell. But here we are following the cousin cookbook. So let's see if cousin Joe knows the nut. All right, so we got that butter melted. We got our pot on medium heat right there. Like I said, I'm adding in that quarter cup of flour. Then adding in the bit of dash of salt, about that much. Throw the rest away. I'm also adding in that bit of black pepper. Just a bit. This is only a one pinch mix. It's about that much right there. And then we're stirring. So what we're doing here is it sciences heat. So the flour with that heat, it thickens up real good with that butter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it, so when we add in our milk, 
and our water is going to thicken up real good and it's going to make a gravy. Look at that, right now it's like mashed potatoes. I wouldn't want to eat that though. Hey Kaz, you want some potatoes? Yes, please. <laughs> Then guys, comment down below, should I feed her the potatoes or not? Feed her the potatoes! I, I think I'll be nice to her about that, but... Alright, so cook this thing says to cook over for five minutes. I don't know why the heck wants me to cook for five minutes for it to turn brown, but that's what we're going to do following this dang cousin recipe. So we're going to get back to here just momentarily. Alright, and after we nonsensically cooked our flour and butter mixture for five minutes, we're going to add in one cup of milk. One cup of milk going into the pot. And then one cup of water. Now technically, you should be using a liquid measurer. You don't have a liquid measurer, so I'm using a dry measurer. That's okay. So now we are directed to mix this up and stir until it boil and cook for two minutes once we get a boil. So I cranked the heat up on the thing real high. And we're at this point, I'm also going to make sure that I mix out all the chunks of the flour mixture. Because again, that's what we're gonna use to thicken up our liquid mixture. And then we're gonna add a little bit of browning sauce to make it a real traditional gravy. And add in a pinch of oregano apparently. Although I still don't know why we're adding oregano, Italian tasting spice, to this country gravy. But we will find out as we're following the family country recipe. So we're getting in here guys, it's going real well, we're not quite at a boil. But you can see the consistency of that gravy is really starting to thicken up. Going to make sure, like I said, we got all the good floury lumps out of the slurry. Make sure I try to break them against the sides of the pot, the pot as best I can. And like I said, we're really getting that, that gravy consistency that you're looking for in that country style gravy. Woo, in fact, she is thickening up. She's a thick boy. Damn, boy, he's thick. Look at that. Just look at it. All right, we got a boil. Kayla, get over here. I need some help. Bring me the browning sauce right now. I need it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Throw me a dash. I don't know what a dash is. Is there something a dash? Just throw me a dash. A little dash. Mm. Holy <laughs> shit, that was not a dash. <laughs> that was, she, just, she just turned our freaking Now right. it's brown gravy. <laughs> this is not what it's supposed to look like. This is like. why I should not have asked for your help. Immediate regret. Immediate regret, guys. Aww. This is, we, I think we just, I won't, I'll save my language. I think it's messed up. <laughs> I sure hope you like the taste of brown and sauce. I don't know what it tastes like. Well then, you, you're, you, I'm gonna make you eat all uh, this whole dang pot. You know, your chicken and that, it's gonna be swimming in this right here. Look what happened to that. This is now brown gravy, guys. This country style gravy is usually white. Well, but anyway, that's about that. That is, Next time, don't trust that me. is cooked and thicken up. All right, uh, do you hear that, folks? I got that on camera. Next time, don't trust her. I will never be trusting her again. Okay, but anyway, guys, that's about that. That's that gravy. It's real nice and thick right there. So now let's try it out on that little chicken we got. I decided not to add oregano, but I'm probably going to add some more of that pepper. That black pepper, that peppercorn, because I'll bet that peppercorn gravy and deliciousness. Well, that's about that, folks. So, let's cut on over to the fun part. Let's get eating. And maybe if I'm nice, I'll feed Kayla after she broke the damn gravy. Well, folks, very important part of chefery is to taste your stuff. So I just tasted this gravy. It tastes it bland as shit. So what I did is I took some more salt, another, like, hand bunch. I threw that in, and I doubled, quadrupled that pepper. So let's try it now. I think it's going to taste a lot better. It's still a beautiful, nice consistency. It's still an ugly brown color because of Kayla. <laughs> it's definitely tasting better. It's uh, it's a lot more, a lot more peppery, and it got that, got a little more salt in there. It's much better. I might still add some more flavors to it right there. All right, so here we got the finished 
product. So I'm gonna just take a dab into that good old breast. Let's give it a nice cut right down that center. And what you're gonna see is some beautifully cooked fried chicken right there, folks. That is beautiful. Looks real nice and juicy, nice and steamy. Just look at that. That is hotter than a hotel bathtub. <laughs> Next, gravy. See that beautiful stuff? Just look at that. That is some professional gravy, which only took about 60,000 times more seasoning than the <laughs> recipe called for. So now, guys, let's give it a taste. Kayla, dang it, what are you doing in the gravy? I'll leave you for one second. And you're late, you're licking the gravy? And putting it right back in. These <laughs> All right, so let's try this moment of truth, guys. Have a nice piece of this chicken right here. That crispy looking fried chicken bit. Is that a good bite for you? No, that's ginormous. That can be, it's <laughs> not a bite. That's ginormous. That's a quarter of a chicken. Well. That's like a bite. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> a bite. Thank is that you. a bite? That's a bite. Here guys, this is a bite. Learn something new every day. Focus camera. That camera don't like it. That camera will focus on that chicken. Look at that. Look at it. All right. Here we go, ladies first. I'll give you the oh, honors. Thank you. Dipping it right in that gravy. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm a little less civilized, but mm -hmm. cheers. Mm. Actually, you know what? That's better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. mm. How's that gravy? Mm hmm. It's good. Let's try it. Dip on bite number two. Dip on bite. Dip on bite number two. <laughs> Just gonna lather that in that gravy. I'm gonna take that spoonful. Just soak it. <laughs> Look at that. It's 50% gravy. That is an ungodly amount of gravy <laughs> and sauce right there, folks. Just look at it real quick before it falls down, but. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Much better. You know, 20 times the season in that will still enough. I bet that's more pepper. That's more salt. It's pretty good though. Dang it, Kayla, stop making a mess. I'm so wild. Gotta clean up after all the time. <laughs> Shout out to Basco and Hot Sauces, the good way to eat chicken too. Not sponsored, but again, feel free to sponsor <laughs> me, folks. I will accept it. This bottle is so I was damn old. Say, he's gonna need it to pay his dental bills. How long you had this in the cupboard for? Thirty I years? I don't know. Dang never. Well, let's try this chicken with the hot sauce. I don't sauce. like Tabasco. You don't like anything Sorry, about Tabasco. Tabasco. Sponsor me. Forget her. All right. Mmm. Tastes like some real aged Tabasco. Right there. Oh boy! I tell you, folks. They're beautiful. There's something special about chicken and hot sauce. <laughs> something real damn special. I'm just gonna coat that so damn much. I might as well just drink it. Mmm. That was a beautiful thing right there, folks. I like that a lot. I'll definitely finish that bottle. <laughs> All right, everybody. So welcome to the first episode on the pans. I hope you liked this. If you liked it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And maybe if you like that video, we get enough likes. Maybe we get around two. So like that video, guys. Share it with your friends. <laughs> All your friends, your family, your cousins, anything in between. And maybe we'll have another episode on the pans coming your way. So everybody, until next time. Eat food. <laughs>
so check your back. <laughs> Keeping things in the family here. Alright, everyone, so welcome back, guys. Part two, as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everyone, so welcome back. Part two. Everyone, so welcome back, part two, where we left off. Coming at you. You are gonna move your hand even a little bit for me, no? <laughs> That's pretty good. You're gonna. Dang, now the cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day. <laughs>